Hi, congratulations on your new RV. We're really excited for you. Please make sure before you're signing that you bring the following items with you. If you're a cash buyer, please make sure that you bring a cashier's check, no personal checks at time of signing, or you may bring actual cash. If you're a finance customer, please make sure that you bring proof of insurance listing your specific lien holder. If you need that information, please call us ahead of time. Also, make sure that you bring all valid driver's license of all persons that will be listed on the title. If you have a trade that you're trading in with us, please make sure that you bring your 10 day payoff as well as your title and all persons who will be listed on the title of that trade. Um, arrive 30 minutes early before your appointment time so we can properly inspect your unit and also make sure that you have the fridge on and running prior to arrival. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at 810-686-0710. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Hello, this is Mike with Tradewinds RV Center, here to congratulate you on the purchase of your Flagstaff 228 BHSE pop-up. I'm here to walk you around it, show you how to set it up, how to use a few things on it, get the best out of your camping experience. I just want to talk about a couple things before parking your unit. It's a little pop-up, so you should have a problem parking anywhere, utilize the facilities. I just want you to realize where your power and water, water and power hookups are on your off camp side so that'd be the driver's side of your tow vehicle so park accordingly so that you can utilize the facilities at the campsite first thing we're going to do when arriving at the campsite after you got got it all back parked we're going to level our unit you'd have a hand crank on this simply raise or lower so you've got your unit level bring it up a little bit because it was a little bit off but you got your unit level. We're gonna go ahead and pop it up. On all four corners, you do have class to take off. Release all four of those. Now we can lift your top up. Power winch. Get it up. And up we go. I'll show you how far to bring this up. You have this tension wire here that you're going to want to keep an eye on. When that gets a little taut, then you know you're up far enough. Perfect. Get that wire nice and taut, and you know you're up all the way. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this in the tripod and show you how to pull your beds out. So one quick thing I do want to mention, if you pull these cotter pins, you can pull these bars out, which allows easier access to these. We'll start here in the back. Same thing down on the other end. I don't want to pull it too far all the way out quite yet. Because you do have some bracing bars to put underneath. I'm going to grab them from inside and show you how those go in. So you have this bracing bar that's going to go in. Up top, that piece there is going to go into a slot right down in here. You'll be able to see it. And then the other end is going to tuck right in there. Get up underneath here front, that puts you back. Check that right in there. Oops. And set your pole. One end will go in there, that, and the other end tucks in down there. So we'll go around the unit, put all four of those in real quick. Got all of our bunk bracings in. It's a 
little different in the back, so I just want to show you real quick. Bottom slides in that slot there. It's the same way up here. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put these corner braces in. Now you have two of these. Doesn't matter which corner you put them in. What does matter is that you put them in opposite corners. So this one in the right campsite or front campsite. You want the other one in the rear off campsite. Same thing the other way. The opposite. And that's if we just tuck some on there. Just tucks right up in there. And that's just a safety. Now we're gonna go around on our bunks. There's two flaps to pull. Pull your corner protection first, and then the outside flap. We're gonna go through, we're gonna pull these zippers down. We're gonna connect Velcro. Just gonna seal up the outside real quick before going in and working on the inside. I pulled all the zippers down, snap all the Velcro together. One more thing to do on the beds, you do have this string here. Simply run it over to the other side. Hook it into this hole right here and that's gonna pull everything taut up underneath. So before going inside, we've got our unit level. Let's go ahead and stabilize the unit. On all four corners here, let me. You have stabilizing jacks. Come over here. One there as well. And back here, you do have a hand crank. Three quarter inch socket. Simply run that down. Now what I do recommend is jack pads. Jack pads are gonna protect the feet of your stabilizing jacks from dirt, debris, hot black top. Uh, keep it from sinking. Remember, these are stabilizing jacks. Get your unit level first, then use these to stabilize them. You're only going to run, run these down until they're taunt. There's one on each corner. After you have all four corners down, just check and make sure you haven't moved any of them. Everything still feels level. Here's level and stable. I'll walk you around the outside real quick and show you a few other things before going inside and setting the beds out. On your off camp side, let's hook up your power. The new Furion power cords, 30 amp service. Simply go in and then turn and then tighten your gray lock. At the other end of this 30 amp service, should you need to plug into a 110, you do have a 30 to 110 adapter that comes in your convenience pack. Got our power hooked up. Let's hook up our water. If we are at a campsite, hooking up City Water Connect, first thing you hook up is your water pressure regulator. Water pressure regulator is going to reduce the water pressure to 40 to 50 PSI, protecting the lines inside your unit. You always want to use your water pressure regulator when putting liquid into your unit. So hook this up, hook up your hose, but don't turn your water on yet. First thing you want to do is come to your hot water heater and make sure your drain plug goes back in. Turn your rod, drain plug back in. May have left it out from last time you were camping, so you want to get that back in there. Drain plug's back in, you can go ahead and turn on your hose. Once your hose has been running for a little while, you're going to come up here to this pressure release valve. You're going to pull on that, release the air out of the lines, until eventually you have a steady flow of water coming out here. Then you know your hot water heater is full and you can turn it on from inside. Now if you're dry camping, you're just gonna come back here next to your power cord and just fill up your potable water tank. Again, your hot water heater will fill up, burp it the same way. However, after you turn your hot water heater in, on indoors for potable water, you also have to turn on your water pump. Don't use your water pump when hooked up to City water, it's not necessary, only for your potable water. Got our water and electricity hooked up. Show you a few other things back here. You have your little cable connection. This is AC prep. This unit 
is prepped for an AC unit. If you ever want to have one installed, that's where your cord will come out for it. Furnace heat release. If you're running your furnace, this is where the heat will come out. Convenient little outdoor shower. City water connect. And drain. You also have a low point drain right there, which will drain when leaving the campsite. This is access to the back of your fridge for maintenance. Your hot water heater. A spray port. Your battery, check your terminals now and then. Make sure that them uh, haven't come loose while they're traveling down the roads. Your propane. You want to make sure you have a regulator on here. Simply point it toward the tank you wish to be using. It's green. It'll turn, if you have them both open, it'll turn red and switch over to the other tank for you. Coming over on your campsite, again. Access to uh, the back of your water heater here. This is your dump. Outdoor speakers. This is a lip for your grill with Quick Connect LP right there. And another 110 out here. Spare tire on the back. That covers everything out here. Let's go inside and see how to set this up in here. First thing I want you to notice as soon as you look inside the door, your fire extinguisher. Let everyone in this camp with you know the fire extinguisher is by the entry doorway in case of emergency. You also have your Furion sound system right here with indoor and outdoor speakers, AM, FM, Bluetooth compatible. Wi-Fi Ranger, when you get to the back of the park and you can't pick up their Wi-Fi, go ahead and uh, hook that up. You can scan that barcode for more information on that. Kitchen, simply lift and pop it into place. As you notice, the lights came on once that was in there. Set up your sofa and down that here. Let's start by talking about a couple things on the floor here. This is your water pump. That's where you turn on your water pump if uh, using potable water. A couple USB ports. This is your 12 volt carbon monoxide uh, propane detector. The reason I mentioned this 12 volt is it's always running off your battery. So if you're gonna be gone for the day and you have nothing charging your battery up, disconnect your battery so that this doesn't run your battery down. Set up your booth here real quick. That's how you lay it down for a bed. So that's how your dinette will set up. This is an extension. It simply pulls out. See down here on the other end. How your bed hooks up. On the end of this is a round spot. You have a pole with this round end and a curved end. Curved end will go up, round end will go into this hole. And push it up. Yay. up and out into place. Lift this up. Sorry. And hook it into there. One of those three. There's a bed area. The reason I want to set this table up real quick is Underneath your table, this is an access panel to your fuse box and breaker box. Looks like you got a variety. 7, 5, 10, 20, 30, 40. Highly recommend you grab a handful of fuses to take with you. Next to your fuse box under the seat is also your G110 with GFCI reset. Inside this bag will be your grill that fits on the outside griddle. The outside lip I showed you. In your ceiling, 
smoke alarm, air vent, controls for that there. Your door, I'll bring that down in just a moment. Over here on your grill, hand light, simply set, turn it to where you need to light it at. Below that is your Dometic fridge. Furnace. We are on the floor, another 110, and where you turn on your water heater. One ten, and now you shower and bath. There's a curtain in your storage that'll go all the way around this. Now setting up your door, you will unsnap these snaps, then slide this whole mechanism this way, so this becomes the bottom of your door and a screen tarp becomes your top. Let's see if I can bring that down for you. One. The one they that go goes the one that goes in that won't turn? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do it. With Jeff I guess. Jeff, I guess. Sorry. No, it ain't your fault.
I was leaving the campsite, you want to lay your table back down underneath. Lay that cushions down, lay these cushions down. You simply push on those. Let everything fall forward. Lay that right on there. Everything down there. Everything down there. And you are going to grab this handle. Fold that right back down there. Now you have room for everything to slide back in. And we'll close it up. And then we'll do everything we need to do to leave the campsite. So we removed our bottom braces, untucked our corners, and we're just going to push this slide in. Now we're going to go around and tuck in as much canvas as you can. corner bracings. What you want to do is take this flap and tuck it back behind the corners so everything will come in better. Do that all the way around. Now we're going to come back up and bring our unit down. Using the power cord. However, what I want you to keep in mind is as you're bringing it down, you're just gonna have to keep going along and tucking it in. If you got one person running this and another person tucking, it'll go rather quickly. So let's talk about your dump. Here's where your toilet dumps. This simply handle pulls out. Release this button. Pull right out. It's got wheels. You can wheel it down to the dump station. Hook your hose up and dump it out. Close your handle, lift it, set it right back in there. And you're all set. Now you're leaving the campsite, we're gonna pull up our stabilizing jacks. You brought your camper down. You're gonna come around and you're gonna bleed your hot water lines. Then you're gonna pull your hot water drain. Then, if you're using potable water, go ahead and empty that fresh water drain or open up these two drains. And you're all set. You drained your water. You all ready to leave? Again, we thank you for your purchase. We hope you enjoy this trailer for many years to come. Happy camping.